You're not listening. Stop crying. Did you forget again? Don't touch that. No running. Sometimes when frustrations are high and you're under stress, using phrases that include judgment, accusations, and the word no are hard to avoid. I get it. I'm a parent too. However, research shows that a single negative word can increase fear and stress in the brain. On the other hand, one single positive word can really promote brain function. So clearly, words have power. Today, I would like to provide you with some simple tips that can help you help your kids feel good about themselves. Quite often as parents, we get into the habit of telling kids what not to do instead of what to do. So I would encourage you today to think of a more positive perspective. For instance, instead of saying no running, try walking please. Instead of saying don't touch that, try hands to yourself. Instead of saying be quiet, try please use a softer voice. And we don't talk like that. Try, please use kind words. Trust me, I am guilty of using all of those negative phrases at some point. But no matter how unintentional they are, they can affect how our kids speak and how they perceive their world. Another thing to consider is how often we tell kids what the consequence will be of not doing what they've been asked to do, as opposed to telling them what to do directly. This approach often leads kids to respond to the threat of a consequence rather than to the intended direction. Ultimately, we want kids to respond to the direction and not the threat. So for instance, instead of saying, if you don't clean up those toys, there's no TV after dinner, try, please tidy up the toys in the family room and put them in the toy box. Give the direction rather than the consequence if they don't do it. Another example is, do you want a timeout? Instead, try please stop and listen to what I've asked you to do. Keep in mind that kids take a little longer to process things. So if we allow them that time to process and cooperate, they just might surprise you. Lastly, like adults, a child likes to feel as though their feelings are valid. So instead of saying things like, stop crying, try, it's okay to cry. Instead of saying, it's not that hard, try, you can do hard things. Instead of saying, do you need my help? Try, I'm here if you need me. And instead of saying, calm down, try, breathe. I'm here to help. This judgment-free approach really helps kids feel good about themselves, which is so important as they're developing their sense of self. So making a few little adjustments to our messaging can really go a long way to making words matter. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.